Hello, my name is Tom DeMasters. I am the owner of DeMasters Insurance in Kansas City, Missouri. I receive calls every week from people who are in need of an SR-22. Perhaps their license has been suspended for a number of reasons. And those reasons could be uh, various reasons, but one is alcohol-related offense, driving without insurance, involved in an accident without insurance, driving someone else's vehicle and the owner of that vehicle does not have insurance, or possibly too many points on your driving record. So people want to know, well, what is an SR-22 and why do I need one? Well, an SR-22 is basically a form, it's financial responsibility, and it is liability insurance. Um, but this form, an SR-22, is sent from the insurance company directly to the state motor vehicle department and an SR-22 is usually required from one year to two years depending on not only the states but the reason that they are requiring the SR-22 in the first place. Beware that these SR-22s if they cancel for some reason if you don't make your continuous payments and the policy cancels then the insurance company by law is required to notify the state once again with a, another form called SR-26 which is sent to the state and basically this is telling the state that now your SR-22 is canceled. The um, state motor vehicle department would then suspend your license all over again and not even notify you. So the only way usually you know is if you're stopped for maybe a speeding ticket or something and then the police officer finds that now you are suspended. So you have to keep that SR-22 paid and current the entire time that they are requiring this. Something else you need to be aware of is that not all insurance companies will is issue an SR-22. That's hard to say. Um, so you do want to find out if your company will do one or you, if you have to shop around perhaps and find it from another company. Some companies will actually cancel your policy if they find you need an SR-22 because in the past it's always been considered that an SR-22 was related to alcohol. One last question on the SR-22. A lot of people will call and say, well, I don't even own a car. How can I buy insurance? Uh, well, there is such a thing as non-owner's insurance with or without the SR-22, and this can be required by the state. Uh, some people like to carry non-owner's insurance in the event they drove a neighbor or a friend's car and that person did not have insurance. That would be for liability only. It is not comprehensive for collision, which I will get into on other uh, YouTube videos. But uh, anyway, there is such a thing as non-owner's insurance with or without SR-22. I hope this has given you a little insight on what an SR-22 is and please uh, feel free to email me with any questions and I'll be glad to try to answer those.